Isaiah 51. Hearken to me, God speaking. Be that follow after righteousness. Want to do right? Listen, this is the time Israel and Judah, they're, they're doing wrong. I mean, Isaiah sent to them, you're doing wrong. Now God's addressing those that do want to do right. You can't say all of Israel's doing wrong. I mean, Elijah tried that. Oh, I'm the only prophet left. And God's like, no, there's some that have not kissed Baal. And just before that, the, the king's servant her, hid prophets by the hundreds, and I think 3K. Ye that seek the Lord. That's good. To the rock whence ye are hewn. That's the wilderness. That's the, the Psalms tells us the flinty rock that brought forth the water. Paul tells us that rock is Jesus Christ. So we're going back into a little history of Israel. What America's doing is she's changing history to make a group of people happy. You don't change nothing. Because if you don't learn from history, you're not going to learn from history, and history will beat itself. And to the hole of the pit where ye are digged. Remember where you came from. And this is a statement here that I use and some preachers going back to Bethel. Remind you where you came from and who you were and what you are now. He's going to say, look to Abraham, your father. And to Sarah that bared you. Well, who were you before Abram and Sarah? You're just a bunch of two people in a land of Arab Chaldees worshiping the moon. That God called out and to be as the sand of the sea and the stars of, of the heavens. But who are you? And what are you? Thanks to God. What are we now? We, Jesus Christ has come into our life. For I called him alone. And Lot went with him. No, the Lord just disregards that. And blessed him and increased him again as the stars, as the sand of the sea. And we're on this side of Calvary. We're in AD 2021. And how many descendants of Abraham and Sarah? And to realize that Abraham did have Hagar, Ahab did, uh, Arabian, Abraham did have uh, uh, Ketra. But there's Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And there's still more to come. Wait to the millennium. It's going to be a population boom of Jews. For the Lord shall comfort Zion, Jerusalem. He will comfort all her waste places. That ain't today. I remember growing up in the 70s as a kid, I remember there was this great thing that television people would, would promote and all that. You know, you can give money and build and, and plant a tree in Jerusalem. And, you know, we can do, you know, all these irrigations. It ain't man-made. It ain't you bringing in the kingdom. Watch. He will make her wilderness like Eden. Well, what's Eden? That's the Garden of Eden. And her death is like the garden of the Lord. Man ain't going to do that. Because what was Eden? What was the garden of the Lord? That's the time when there was no curse on the earth. And that curse is being removed by Jesus Christ. It's a millennial application. The man and church and religion tries to bring in the kingdom by themselves. You ain't going to do nothing. Now, you plant a tree, and they've done that, and they have all the kids. Plant a tree in Israel. Didn't you read Revelation that one, of the three, third, one third of the trees are going to burn up? And after Jesus Christ comes, after the curse is removed off there, boom, here's all these trees in Israel, in the land, in the wilderness, in the deserts, just like Genesis 1. History is going to repeat itself.
joy and gladness shall be found therein. Not right now. There, there being missiles firing to Israel today, maybe, yesterday. And thanksgiving and the voice of melody. That's millennial. Hearken unto me, my people. That's not the church. That's Israel. And give ear to me. Oh, my nation. That's not America. That's Abraham and Sarah. That's not the Arabians. That's not Moabites, Ammonites. For a law shall proceed from me. It already did. Exodus 20. For a law shall proceed from me. That's future. There's coming a law that God's going to write on their hearts and their iniquities no more in the millennium. You realize that in the millennium, Ezekiel talks about sacrifices. It's not a land of sacrifice in the morning and at night anymore. You ain't going to sacrifice a lamb no more. That lamb is sitting on the throne of David. I will make my judgment to rest for a light of the people. My righteousness, that's Jesus Christ, is near. Now this is B.C. 712. That's a long near. At least 712 years. That's just as near as Paul thought, hey, the rapture's going to happen in my time. Paul thought the rapture was going to happen within his time. John, even so come Lord Jesus. Behold, I come quickly. Even so come Lord Jesus. That's quickly. That's near. God is long-suffering. And I shall wait upon me, my arm shall they trust. They say Gentiles and the nation, the coast. I don't know what that isle is. There's so many different answers. But a group of people that's not the Jews, Israel. Listen, you know what the Gentiles are waiting for? They're waiting for the peace on earth and all that. That's Jesus Christ. And that's when Jesus Christ builds up Israel and establishes Israel, becomes the, the king upon David's throne, establishes the worship in, in Jerusalem. I forget, one writer speaks about even the animals are waiting for that day. They groan. The Bible speaks about the millennium. They're going to have a lion, a bear, and a lamb. They're all going to sleep together. You know, you, you got a little taste of that in the Old Testament. I don't read the Old Testament, they say. You know, the lion. Wasn't there a prophet, a lord, that had one cozy night and sleep with the lion? Oh, man, that's a nice bed. Daniel alive. Hey, leave me alone. Let me sleep for one more hour. Well, hey, man, this is the most comfy bed I've ever had. You read the Old Testament? When the lions walk around, people died? Lift up your eyes to the heavens and look upon the earth beneath, for the heavens shall vanish away. Oh, that's where Peter got it from. Peter's not as dumb as he. Peter knew Isaiah. He said, heaven and earth shall flee with a fervent heat. And the earth shall wax old like a garment. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall never pass away. And they, there's your mother earth. We just had earth day. There's your mother earth. And they that dwell therein shall die like manner. Not those that are children of God. Not those that are saved today in the church age. But my salvation, Jesus Christ, shall be forever. Can I lose? Look at that. That's eternal salvation in the Old Testament. God's salvation is Jesus Christ. There it is. Oh, you know, the Old Testament saints look forward to Calvary. Why don't you preach eternal salvation found in the Old Testament scriptures? That's more sure. There it is in black and white. And my righteousness, which is Jesus Christ, shall not be abolished. There you go. How do you get that? Eternal security found in the Old Testament. 
God promised that Jew, the salvation to the Jew forever. Once I establish you in the land, once Jesus Christ, my salvation, my righteousness, establish you as a nation, I, I, your sins and iniquities I will remember no more. My laws you write upon my heart. I am never, ever going to be finished. And yet there are religions out there, God's all done with Israel. You haven't studied your Bible. Hearken unto me. Remember the Chapter 49, I think it was, it was the only place to listen, showed up in the Bible. Here, it's hearken. Hearken to me that no righteousness. So these are the people, they're, they're living right in Isaiah's time. And through the ages to come. The people, Israel, whose heart is my law, the Jews, not the church, not America, Listen, America is passing a, a laws that, you know, marijuana is legal. Abortion is legal. Not according to the Bible. Fear ye not the reproach of men. Don't care what men say about it. Don't care about the Arabians. Don't care about the United Nuts. Don't care that Bush wanted, wanted uh, fuel more than he wanted the nation of Israel. Well, I'll take care of you. If you're doing righteous. Now, there are Jews in the land today. They are trying to live right. They are doing right. And there are many who have believed in the Lord Jesus Christ. And there are some whose, did, whose heart is right, have not believed in the Lord Jesus Christ, and God will give them the light. There is, throughout the book of Acts, throughout the ages, any Jewish person that receives Jesus Christ, they are they're obsolete in the city of Jerusalem. They are they are forgotten, forsaken, thought as dead amongst the Jewish communities and their family. That there was even time that Paul had to bring money from the missionary churches to the home church. Why? Because the church was starving to death. They can't make a living. That Jewish carpenter that believes on Jesus Christ, the Jewish candlestick maker, the Jewish husband of his family, once he received Jesus Christ, they have not, listen, they crucified Jesus. They gave Paul a hard time. God says, don't worry about him. Wait till the tribulation period comes up when the Jew is enemy number one. Are there not a people who's going to visit the Jews? Are there not a people who's going to comfort the Jews? Are there not people going to help medical the Jews? Are there not going to be Jews going to be people going to feed the Jews? These are the sheep nations. They'll go off with you in the millennium. Anybody else? They're off to hell. Goat nation. Don't worry. Neither be afraid of their reviling. For the moth shall eat them up like a garment. Death. Nothing. The worm shall eat them like wool, where their worm dies not. It's death. But my righteousness, Jesus, shall be forever, in case you didn't get it the first time. Thy salvation. Who? Jesus Christ. He came, on his own to, he came unto his own. I come to seek that which is lost. From generation to generation. That's Jesus Christ. It's a sure. Awake, awake. Nobody's sleeping. Put on strength. O arm of the Lord. Tell God, get up, wake up, wake up, wake up. God's not asleep. But, you know, there are times in the Christian walk and there are times in the, in the Jewish life. God, will you wake up? He's not asleep. He may be silent. Even I've been in circumstances. God... I know you don't sleep, but can you like, give me a little attention? Awake as in the ancient days. In the generations of old. Listen, God's going to be primary asleep during the tribulation period. Quote, unquote. And God's going to be asleep to the Gentile name. Hey, that's what you want? There you go. Take it. You don't want my church? You don't want the Bible? You don't want the preaching? You don't want the... The, the Christian radio station, fine. Call them up hither. You can have your seven years. Anyways, God's not, listen, it's not the time of the Gentiles. There are Gentiles who are going to help the Jews and they don't even know what they're doing. 
How's that? In generations of old, art thou not it that had cut Rahab and wounded the dragon? That picture's Egypt. Israel's going back to their history again. God, where were you like you were in Exodus? In the tribulation period, you could match the plagues of Exodus to the plagues that are in the in the in the book of Revelation. And that Rahab, I, they say, is Egypt, but the dragon, Revelation chapter 12, the Leviathan that you read about in Job. He trusts that he can swallow up the Jordan River. Art thou not it? Look at that, calling God it. Later on, the prophet's going to say, it is not God. Well, not this it. It is their idols, images, and, and blasphemy. Art thou not it which has dried the sea, the waters of the great deep, Red Sea, has made the death of the sea a way for the ransom to pass over, Red Sea? See, the Hebrews, the Israelites, the Jewish people, the children of Abraham and Sarah, know their history, though Americans don't. And they're going to call upon Jehovah, say, Jehovah, redeem us out of this period. We know it's Jacob's trouble. We know it's the tribulation period. Are you going to work like you did in Exodus? Now, he ain't going to pass that Red Sea. You wait till Jesus comes and crosses that, that Jordan River like Joshua did. Therefore, second advent, the redeem of the Lord shall return. Second advent. Millennium. And come with singing unto Zion, everlasting joy shall be upon their head. They shall attain gladness and joy and sorrow and mourning shall, shall flee away. That's not today. I, God speaking, even I am. That's interesting. You know, at one point in time, Jesus said, I am, and they picked up stones. They were going to stone him. They know exactly what Jesus said. Even the Jehovah Witnesses don't. I am he, I am he that comforts you. Jesus. Man, they're hiding down the city, prepared for them by God, away from the Antichrist. And Who art thou? Thou shouldest be afraid of a, of a man. Not men, a man. The Antichrist. That shall die. And the son of man, which shall be made as grass. That's human man. What is man? In actuality, what is really the Antichrist? When Jesus Christ comes, he's going to take that Antichrist and the false prophet and cast him in the lake of fire. They go to the lake of fire before everybody else does. Listen, the goat nation is still going to hell. Not the Antichrist and the false prophet. They go straight into the, into the lake of fire. Then the devil's bound up for a thousand years. He's loose. He gathers an army. God, fire comes down. And the devil's cast in the lake of fire. He bypasses hell. The devil, the Antichrist, and, and the false prophet bypass the great white throne judgment. The devil ain't going to fall down before Jesus. You need to read your Bible. The devil, the Antichrist, and the false prophet are in the lake of fire already that burn it, waiting for the people to come be cast into it. You just haven't read your Bible and rightly divided. And forget it, the Lord thy maker, okay, God the creator, God who made Israel, has stretched forth the heavens, creator, laid the foundation of the earth, Genesis 1, and has feared continually every day because of the fury of the oppressor. The oppressor? The oppressor? Any guy. As if he were already to be to destroy. And where is the fury of the oppressor? Well, he's going to be cast in the, in the hell. 
don't need to worry about him no more. God will get the victory. But that guy's going to cause some fury. Verse 14. Verse 14. The captive, exile, hasteneth that he may be loosed, that he should not die in the pit, nor the bread shall fail. But I am the Lord thy God, that divided the sea, Red Sea, whose waves roar. It wasn't a peaceful time. Man, it was rushing the winds, the waves. You remember, it was in the middle of the night. It wasn't no quiet thing. Scripture with scripture. The Lord of hosts is his name. I can imagine what they did with that stupid movie. You know, I seen previews that money, that movie. They showed it was day. It was in the middle of the night. It, the, the, God was a light of fire for Israel and darkness to Egypt. Why would God need to be a flame of fire? By day, God was a cloud. At night, he was a fire. Didn't read the scriptures again. I have put my words in thy mouth. Most of the Bible is Hebrew. Most of the Bible is for the Jews. I have covered thee in the shadow of my hand. That I may plant the heavens and lay the foundation of the earth. Say unto Zion, thou art my people. Well, it don't sound like it's God done with them. Awake, awake. Stand up, O Jerusalem. <laughs> Jerusalem cried, God, wake, wake. God said, why don't you awake? Resurrection. What hast thou drunk at the hand of the Lord? The cup of his theory, tribulation. Thou hast drunk, drunken the dregs of the cup of trembling. Tribulation. And wrung them out. Tribulation. There is none to guide her among all the sons. Whom she has brought forth. There's no guidance in the tribulation at all. Except for Moses and Elijah and 144,000. Neither is there any that taketh her by the hand. All the sons that she has brought up. By the mercies of God. These two things are come upon unto thee. Who shall be sorry for thee? Desolation and destruction, tribulation. And in famine, tribulation. The sword, tribulation. The horses. War and famine. Whom shall I comfort thee? Thy sons have fainted. They lie at the head of the streets. That's also Babylon. That's also Nineveh when they come as a wild bull in a net. They are full of fury of the Lord, the rebuke of thy God. Therefore, hear now this, thou afflicted and drunken, but not with wine, tribulation, the, the, the wrath of God, the cup. Thus saith the Lord, the Lord of thy God, that pleadeth the cause of his people, Isaiah, Jeremiah. Elijah, Elisha, Obadiah, Jesus, Peter, James, John. Behold, I have taken out of thy hand a cup of trembling tribulation, even the dregs of the cup of my fury tribulation. Thou shalt no more drink it again to end of the tribulation. But I will put it in thy hand of them that afflict thee, Gentiles, Antichrist, the devil, which have said to thy soul, Bow down. Receive the mark. Fall down. Shadrach, Meshach, and go. At the sound of the music. I may go over, and thou hast laid thy body as to the ground, and as the street to them that went over. There's that. God ain't finished with Israel. 